Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious, super flavorful beef stew. All of your beef stew dreams will come true. There's a big splash of brandy, some red wine, you know, some vegetables and things, a little bacon, a lot of beef, and uh, let's get started. <laughs> Starting off with two and a half pounds of chuck roast that we're gonna cut into about one inch-ish cubes, season, and set aside while we do the rest of our prep work. All right, cow, thank you. <laughs> All this fat will render really nicely when the stew is cooking and really contribute to like the mouth feel and the way all the flavors come together too. So don't worry about trimming all the fat. Do worry about not including the twine. We'll take that away. Once all your beef is cut up into those cubes, season it with two tablespoons of salt, about one tablespoon of cracked ground pepper. Mm, that pepper and beef, that's nice. That's nice. Just toss it around there, set it aside while you do the rest of the vegetables and wash them hands. Now for something much less gory, let's peel those carrots. So I'm peeling about a pound of carrots right now. I mean, you don't really have to peel them, but that's nice. We'll peel them, trim the edges, and then cut them into one inch cubes. Now that's what I call a speed peel. I halved the thicker parts of the carrots. I just want them to cook kind of evenly. And now we're gonna cut one inch sections. Let's transfer to a bowl and set aside. The recipe calls for five garlic cloves, but one of them was a little bit undersized, so it doesn't count. Six garlic cloves. When you smash a clove like that, it helps to release the oil. So I like to smash them before I mince them up. Now we can give these a fine chop, close to a mince, but you know, not that exact. It's a stew. That's cut up to my satisfaction, so I can transfer this into a small bowl and do the last of my prep work. I have one medium-sized yellow onion. This is a medium onion to me, it's not large. And we're gonna give it a nice mm, rough chop. Let's see how stinky it is. So I don't wanna cry on camera. Okay, into another bowl. And we're on to our last step of prep. I have a pound of baby potatoes here. These are really, really baby potatoes. You don't have to cut these in half, but I'm going to anyways. And if you miss some, that's fine. I love the purple potatoes. Look how pretty that is. Over high heat, we're adding in three tablespoons of olive oil. Let it heat up until you see it kind of dance and shimmer on the pan. Once that oil is just below smoking point, we're gonna add our three pieces of bacon cut in half. This is a thick cut and I'm using black forest bacon. Okay, once your bacon is nice and crispy, just take it out, set it aside. Now we're gonna start cooking our beef in batches. Now we're adding in our onion. And move that around. Half a cup of brandy. All right. This will help deglaze the pan, get all those flavors from the beef and the bacon to absorb into those onions, really caramelize and have a nice depth of flavor. Just use your wooden spoon to kind of get all those brown bits off of the bottom of the pan. That's flavor, you want that mixed in, not sitting at the bottom. Now we can add in our pound of chopped carrot. Stir that up. 
Now we can add our minced up chopped garlic, our pound of potatoes. Give that a nice stir. Two more teaspoons of salt. Some more pepper. Give that one more stir. And we're gonna let that cook down for about five minutes on medium. All right, my veggies have been cooking down for five minutes. I'm adding in one cup of a nice red wine. And by the way, the recipe called for two tablespoons of brandy, but I read that as half a cup, so more is more. <laughs> All right, let's stir this down. Now we're in the home stretch. We're adding in a 28 ounce container of crushed tomatoes. This is almost 800 grams, if you're wondering. So now it's time for one quart or almost a thousand milliliters or a liter of beef broth. Some beautiful bay leaves. These are gonna give the most wonderful flavor in. I'm adding in three, but you can add more or less if you want. And then about a tablespoon or so of fresh thyme. Give that a nice stir. And don't forget the beef. <laughs> Let's add all of that in. Bring this to a simmer, and as soon as that happens, we'll be moving on to the next step. All right, my stew has just come to a simmer. We're gonna cover it up, and then transfer it into an oven at 275 for two hours. All right, it's out of the oven, everything's nice and tender, and just before serving it, you're going to zest a lemon. You wanna wake this up, because it's a lot of super rich flavors. So a little bit of acid will go a long way. Tap that in. Don't forget the juice. <laughs> and just stir it. All those oils will go into your stew and really give you a nice depth of flavor. Look what came in the mail right after I popped that into the oven. I just transferred it over because it's a proper Dutch oven. Anyways, so flavorful. This is like a flavor bomb. I'm going to transfer some of this into a bowl. Just however much you think somebody would want. Somebody named me. And then it's ready to serve. You can add a little bit of fresh thyme on top for garnish. Maybe some rosemary too, if desired. And how about a sprinkle of that crumbled bacon? Delicious and perfect for a cold winter or fall night, or just any time, any day. It's so my last shoot of the day, and I am very, very hungry. I cannot wait to take a bite. So hot though. I like took a little sip and it scalded my tongue. So 10 minutes later, we're coming back to it. All the browning we did with the meat, the caramelizing with the brandy and the red wine. Oh, there's a lot of depth in here. And that little bit of lemon juice at the end really kind of cuts through and brings a nice clarity to it. I can't describe it and do it justice, but you have to trust me and give it a try. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Maybe you have some things you'd like to add. You know what'd be great in here? Mushrooms. You know what somebody won't eat in my household? Mushrooms. <laughs> Just saying. So tell me what you would add to the stew, if anything. I love hearing from you. And if you like my videos, Hit that like button and subscribe.